Okay, so here we are. We got the lighthouse faceplate on the crystal. You can see because I got the knuckles right here. I got one base station over there. And then across from that, I got a second one here. So I have three, but I'm going to test with just two right now just to see because most people just have two. And if I run into tracking issues, then I'll do some tests with three and see how it goes. But, um... So just, I, I've seen some people complain about, like, looking down caused some issues. Uh, nothing here right now. I can look up. I can look down. Everything seems fine from an initial quick little, like, test. So, uh, let's jump into a game. Let's go, let's go with Pavlov. Okay, so here we are we in, um, Kingdom of Toten, one of the imported Call of Duty zombie maps. And I thought, let's give this a little bit of a try. This gives me a chance to talk, and I didn't really see too many matches available. Okay, yeah, holding the pistol like that, that already feels noticeably better. Because <laughs> with the inside out, I noticed if I would do it like this, there would be kind of sometimes be like just the slightest little wobble, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Which, it, it, it's workable, but it, I mean, going back to the lighthouse, is I, I definitely notice it here. Oh. Another one I sometimes had some trouble with on Inside Out was, like, aiming down like this. I do have Virtual Stock enabled, so that will be helping things a little bit, but let's see. Oh. Okay, no, it didn't come reloaded. I'm stupid. I'm not a fan. I'm still not a fan of the grips on the knuckles, though. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's try. Let, let's try aiming up the stairs. This was on the DPVR E4 was definitely a notable issue, and sometimes on the crystal, but with lighthouses, no issues at all. None whatsoever. This is just fine. Yeah. I mean. I I don't want to do something super in-depth here because it, it, it's lighthouse tracking. I think if you're here, you probably know what to expect for lighthouses. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much what you would expect from lighthouses. It, it, it's accurate. I mean, I'm not having any issues with the tracking. I am having issues, sure, with the gameplay. I don't know why this thing keeps... All right. But yeah, I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's what you expect from lighthouses so far on initial impressions. Uh, let's just see if I can drop the gun and pick it up. Some people had issues with that. Can I do that? Yeah, okay. No issues with that. I mean, I'm looking around. I'm looking up. I'm looking down. I picked up, my, I picked up what I dropped on the ground. I don't have any issues with it, uh, so... Let's go to, let's go to like an ins a little comparison with the inside out tracking, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here I am in the shooting range in Pavlov. I think I'll do some comparisons with the inside out and the uh, lighthouse. But I do want to do at least one or two tests live right now with it. I'm on the lighthouse controllers right now. I have virtual sock disabled. I think we're going to do some shooting from about 40 meters away. And I'll do a round with it on. So let's just... See how this goes. Oh, I forgot how much I hate shooting without virtual stock or my gun stock. It is so much harder to control this thing. But, I mean, it looks like most of it is kind of going where we want. Okay. So, yeah, that's 40 meters away without virtual stock. Let's take a quick look with virtual stock to see how much it helped my shaky hands. All right, we're shooting with virtual stock now. This already feels a lot better. I mean, for 40 meters away, I think it's not bad. All right, yeah, I mean, for being 40 meters away and just going through a holographic site like that, I think it's reasonably good. So that's just with the lighthouses. Now, I'm probably going to dub over some comparisons to Inside Out now, my overall thoughts of doing some shooting here between Inside Out and the lighthouse. So let's do that. Moving on to the Inside Out comparisons now. Shooting without virtual stock, the experience felt kind of similar. I will say it did feel a little bit worse, and I did notice a tiny bit of wobble, or it felt like I had to try and kind of correct for it. But in the end, the results weren't 
terribly different though slightly better on the inside out technically but doing this several times i could get slightly different results each go around but in general this is sort of where things landed not much of a difference switching to virtual stock though things got a bit weird i don't know if it's because of the slightly different angle i have to hold the gun and shoot with it but i noticed a lot more wobble and jitter on the inside out with it than without and just comparing the two tracking it's not even close and this was pretty consistent behavior when I did this multiple times. Aiming at closer targets felt fine, but as we got into greater distances, even the slightest variation of the inside out became more noticeable. However, when I introduced my gun stock to the mix, that's where things got interesting again. For this test, I used a bolt action sniper rifle with the dummy set to 100 meters away and took five shots while aiming towards the center and giving myself no more than a few seconds to line up each shot once I started aiming, virtual stock was also disabled. With lighthouses here, things were as you'd expect while aiming. I felt decently confident in hitting the target despite the huge distance. And at the end here, all five shots did hit, though it wasn't exactly perfect and two shots in particular definitely veered pretty far off, but not bad for shooting a bit over 100 meters. Going to inside out though, I had some really interesting findings. Aiming largely felt, well, the same as with the lighthouse tracking at this distance, despite how it started to feel worse with the further out I tried shooting without the stock. If I bring up both side by side right now, the inside out actually isn't terribly different. One shot did go off the page entirely though, but I got two shots near dead center with two kinds of veering off to the side and shooting this far, there's a bit of variance to be expected. Compared to without the stock, it was a much bigger improvement for the inside out than with the lighthouses. So you could say the lighthouse tracking did noticeably better because it technically held up better without external help like the physical stock. I actually did a few hours worth of shooting in Pavla, both with my real stock and without it, and that feeling kind of carried over to regular gameplay too. Without the stock, the knuckles were definitely a step up in most situations though. However, I was still largely satisfied with the crystal controllers and just about everything but the really long distance shots. I didn't feel like I had to fight the tracking all that much, and even some of those I could still make. I could still see myself missing some shots at key moments though because of this. Some guns were also better than others, but if you're not trying to play hardcore sweaty, I think most people would be all right with the inside out if they had the experience I did. But then my stock entered the equation, and I'll be frank, if I couldn't physically feel the controller shapes in my hands, I don't think I'd be able to tell that much of a difference between the tracking. Despite a top mounted stock, which should be worst case scenario for the crystal controllers, tracking felt perfect on the inside out. I didn't have to fight it once and I had a pretty great time. So when it came to stuff like occlusion from the guns and aiming, I do have to give a moderate edge to the knuckle controllers overall. But at least for me, it did not feel like nearly as much an improvement to warrant the cost of the base stations. And even though I play a lot of Pavlov, I wouldn't see myself keeping them even if I didn't have the gun stock and I could use the knuckles without getting blisters in my hands. <laughs> I also played around with the Knuckles a bit in various other games, the other big ones where I tested the tracking being some melee focused ones like Legendary Tales and Blade and Sorcery. And I'll save you some rambling since there's not really much to compare here, and I'll make it brief. At least for how I do things, I didn't really feel that significant an improvement with Lighthouse tracking versus the Crystals Inside Out in these games. The only time I ever really ran into notable tracking problems with the Inside Out has been for occlusion from stuff like aiming down sights or trying to do something like a big wind up over the shoulder throw with say a grenade or something and i don't do that much now i can still see some situations where somebody may want the lighthouse social vr even without considering full body tracking that can involve a lot more animated and complex gestures than you may see in games like this completely understood it there and i have heard some people describe situations where inside out would quite cut it, like say shooting behind you as you're running away, or trying to grab something that's in the opposite direction of where you're looking. But this is a faceplate review and not my personal opinions on tracking comparison, so let's get back on topic. So if I were to sum it up, the Pimax Lighthouse faceplate, it worked perfectly fine. Tracking is exactly what you'd expect from lighthouses, it functions great, tracks great, and I've used several beyond just Pimax's own as well, so I have a good reference for. That said though, I have heard a small handful of reports from some people having issues with this. 
but as it seems like there's not too many out in the wild right now, I don't know if it's just a poor sample size and bad luck or possibly indicative of a larger QC issue. I have also known several people who had it work just fine too. So if you do like the base station ecosystem, yeah, I think you'll do fine with this. And it'll work like any other base station tracked headset. But maybe keep an eye on the community and user reports. If you want the faceplate, I'll have a link in the description. It's tagged affiliate, but I actually don't get anything from faceplate sales at the time of this video. It's just easier to keep all the links in one place. But I'd just like to quickly note that the faceplate does seem a bit back ordered since the earliest delivery date is at least a few weeks out, at least at the time of this writing. I will have a correction on screen if that changes post recording. And Pimax, I believe the reason for delaying this is that they were fixing some compatibility issues with 1.0 lighthouses. I don't have 1.0s to test with, so I cannot comment on how well it does or does not work or how well they'll have fixed the issues if there are any. And there you go. That's a review and a quick comparison to the inside out with some of my thoughts on it. Had to do something a little bit different for this since I've got a lot less time with the university going on. So this might be a little bit less polished, but I still hope I hit on some of the important points for the faceplate and got all across. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know what you thought of it and uh, consider sticking around, see what else I'm gonna do. And if not, thanks for dropping by anyway. Maybe I'll see you again sometime in the recommended. Later.